guys, welcome back to the Sunless Ray YouTube channel. My name is Jessica Ray, and I am the founder of Sunless Ray, and I have been a professional spray tan artist for over 10 years now. And in this channel, I share all of my favorite fake tanning tips, whether it's spray tanning or self tanning that I've learned over the years of spray tanning, honestly, thousands of women at this point. I want to remind you, this is an open forum below. Please ask any questions you would like in the comment section, and I get back to you within 24 hours. Say you have a fake tan problem, you need an answer, I will give it to you in 24 hours. So make sure to comment below. There's no topic off limit. For sunlessray.com, you can use code FREESHIP for free shipping for our non-toxic self-tan kit that comes with an exfoliating mitt, applicator mitt, and our mousse. And then we sell our self-tan mousse by itself as well. And today's topic is, I feel like I say this every video, but <laughs> after spray tanning a client, this is literally what they ask me every time if they're a new client. Like, this is the question. And that question is, can I sit down after getting a spray tan or applying self-tan mousse? And I always laugh because I'm like, no, you can't sit down. You need to stand up for eight hours. Like, <laughs> you know, like that is just would be so ridiculous. So that's why I laugh. like that's why I think it's funny. But it is actually a really good question. Like, don't make my laughter steer you from this actually being a good question. It's just kind of funny that people think that like I could possibly say, no, you need to stand. <laughs> But anyways, the question, the answer is yes, you can sit down after a spray tan. So with our spray tans, we actually still do mobile spray tanning in the Austin, Texas area. And we have our flagship in Brea, California, which is basically Orange County. If you don't know where Brea is, think about it like two cities away from like Disneyland. So we spray you, we don't oversaturate you. So you're not gonna be like dripping after a spray tan. You should never be drip dripping after a spray tan. And then we use drying powder so it gets rid of that sticky feeling, stops the transfer onto your clothes and sheets, and you can sit down right away. So the only way you can mess up a spray tan is with sweat or water after you get it. Sitting down, bending your like arm like this isn't gonna cause something weird here. Um, you know, bending, like sitting, I'm sitting like Indian style right now, that's not gonna mess up your tan. If you sweat in between your legs, like right now, to be honest, like it's kind of sweaty because it's like over 100 in Texas right now. So like, yeah, I can mess up my tan right there. So in this case, I would put on like long pants to stop that from happening because it's just the skin to skin that's causing that sweat. But yes, you can sit down right away. If you have a white couch, you can put down a blanket or a towel and sit on that so you're not stressed about it but I can't speak for every spray tanner out there. So sometimes you may feel really sticky they may not use drying powder. So just be a little bit diligent until you feel dry. So like 30 to 45 minutes, you'll feel super dry. So just put a blanket down, you can sit down. I just don't, I just worry about the transfer. That's the only thing you should be worried about. It's not gonna mess up your tan. And the same goes for self tanning because every self tan mousse product is different. Whether you use lotion, um, the spray, the drops, mousse anything like that every brand product is different with the sunless ray self tan mousse it's not going to get on your sheets or your clothes or your couch so i'll literally apply the sunless ray self tanner and i'll sit like this is my personal couch and i know it's not going to get on my couch because i've done it before so you can trust sunless ray will not do that again i can't speak for every self tanner out there so a good rule of thumb is just to you wear long pants dark clothing Make sure it's not leggings, you don't want anything super tight, or put a blanket or a towel down on the couch before sitting down until you're dry, and then it'll be fine. But yeah, the biggest thing is not to think about, will it ruin my tan, but will it transfer on to the surface that I'm sitting on? Because sitting down is not gonna ruin your tan. I promise you, sit down, and don't feel like you need to stand, and then some people, after they'll get like a spray tan, they'll do like this, walk you know because they feel like they can't touch anything and they don't want to put their arms down but i promise you can walk you can be normal just no sweat or water until your first shower and that goes with self tanning and spray tanning but i hope i cleared this up that you don't feel like you need to stand up for eight hours after any fake tan application or a rapid which is two to four hours before your first shower so the same goes for that too you can sit down you can lay down have fun do whatever you want just no sweat or water but you can follow me on Instagram at Sunless Ray. I share all of these like little clips on there, discounts, fun pictures, just all of those type of things. So make sure to follow that. 
And of course, make sure to like and subscribe to this video. I love sharing all of these tips and I share a new one every Tuesday. Comment below with questions, like I said earlier. I can make a new video, I can respond, whatever it may be. But yeah, stay tuned for a new episode next week.